the weather changes, the world around us changes. Things inside the mind can also change. We want to look for something that doesn't change. That, the Buddha says, is a noble search. If you look outside, you're not going to find it, but if you look inside, you can. So this is why we meditate and close our eyes, so we can be more aware of how we feel the body from within, how we feel the mind from within, with a minimum of distraction. Because the Dharma is there in the mind. It's showing itself all the time. You know, we don't see it because we're looking someplace else. Or when we do look inside, we're asking the wrong questions. And what I said, it, the questions are very simple. Where is the suffering or the stress? What arises at the same time that the stress arises? What passes away at the same time it passes away? Try to develop the mind in terms of mindfulness, alertness, concentration, so it can see itself clearly. And then just watch. It's like being a watchman in a, in a fire tower in a, in a natural forest. It's very quiet, and it's very easy to get lulled into complacency. Because a fire can happen at any time. You have to be watchful at the same time that you're still. So try to combine those two habits. Try to keep tabs inside, even as you go through the day. We sit and meditate with our eyes closed so we can get more focused here and see more clearly. But it's not the case that you can't observe your mind while you're going through the day. You can. It's just that you make that your determination. Any anger comes up, any greed comes up, try to deal with it as quickly as you can. That way you have less that you have to clean up when you come to sit down again. But keep remembering that the real problem is inside, but the solution is inside as well. To use John Lee's terms, things outside are just decorations along our way. As long as you don't get too distracted by them, they're no problem. But when they become your whole life, your whole area of interest, then you do have a problem, because you're neglecting where the real source of the problem lies. And you get these little tiny Little kid problem saying, me, 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 look after me, look after me. And trying to take care of them like a mother chick, trying to provide for all little baby chicks. But you get distracted from what's actually the big problem inside, so try to keep your focus centered, even as you go through the day. And you'll be more likely to see what's happening. The Buddha gives the image of six animals tied to leashes. If you tie the leashes together but don't tie them to a post, then the animals just pull each other in their different directions. One of the animals is an alligator, so it's going to drag all the other animals down into the river and they're going to, oh, going to drown. But if you tie the leashes to a post, then no matter how much they pull, they'll stay right here, right where you can observe them and where they don't have to do any harm. So stay right here. Stay standard right here. Because all the Dharma you need to know is going to be right here. Now we've got your attention centered in the right place.